Hi folks, Bill McMahon is back with The Making of a Millionaire. So why the mask? Well, I'm here to talk about the party, the masquerade ball from Friday night. Um, I'll tell you, it was pretty much what I expected and then some, you know. I've never been to a party like this before, but I'm just going by what you know you see on the television as far as uh, how some of these elite, uh, what kind of festivities they throw and things of that nature. So uh, I was supposed to start Friday at 7.30, uh, Friday night. I ended up getting there late because there was... Uh, a couple of accidents on the two main roads going out of London, and I guess I wasn't the only one that was late. So I um, arrived later than I wanted to, and I could tell right when I pulled in the in the driveway um, what kind of party it was going to be just by the vehicles that were there. Well, firstly, the first thing I see was Greg's brand new Lamborghini that was just delivered on Friday, sitting there black. It's beautiful. Maybe I'll post a picture of it here. Um, pretty exciting. But then there was, you know, Mercedes, Land Rovers, Porsches, Ferraris. I mean, that's the kind of cars that were parked out in front. So you can just tell the caliber of the people that are going to be inside. So was I a little intimidated? Yeah, I guess I was a little intimidated because, you know, I'm just a, a regular old boy from upstate New York. And uh, here I am going into a party with, with the rich and the elite. So um, I had a doorman opening the door. I go in, and uh, the first thing I see is three beautiful, lovely ladies standing there, and they look like they're wearing lingerie. Well, actually, they weren't. It was actually painted on lingerie. Um, I don't know if you're familiar. There's this new show called Naked Vegas where that's one of the big things that people do now. Uh, they do this body painting. So they greeted you with a, with a glass of champagne and a hello, and uh, there was a you know, full-blown bar set up in the back, and they were mixing drinks. There was a company there handling that. He had taken uh, his one sitting room. They had removed everything from the sitting room, and there was a mirrored dance floor in there and a couple of DJs in there uh, playing music. They had... Um, uh, butler d'hors d'oeuvres, uh, people coming around with all sorts of incredible hors d'oeuvres. I'll tell you, the food was phenomenal. The food and the drink was phenomenal. Um... Then I started to meet some people. One of the first people I met was Greg's father, John. What a great guy. And I can tell you a lot by uh, the caliber of person he was that where Greg got a lot of his kindness and people skills from was from his father. I mean, his father knew I was there alone. He knew he knew about the book and he kind of took me under his wing and he took me around and introduced me to people. And uh, I met uh, uh, John's uh, high school or, or, or school schoolmate from, from years gone by. Um, I met so many people uh, that uh, work with Greg's, friends with Greg's, um, just just incredible the number of people that I met. And uh, I mean, all caliper, I mean, really like super rich people who are into finance and and real estate to, uh, you know, just some regular guys like me that work with him uh, on the training floor. And um, so I met some great people. Uh, he brought in some uh, some burlesque dancers. There was a Marilyn Monroe lookalike there, and this other woman that did kind of this, this dark, exotic kind of uh, European dance. And um, and then at eleven o'clock, he had these full blown fireworks. I mean, I love fireworks, and these were out back above his pool area, and they were like full blown fireworks, like professional. I was really, really impressed. That was just just an incredible thing. Um, got to dance. Uh, and again, met so many good people. And, and the nice thing is, is a lot of these people, when they, you know, they're asking what I was doing and what am I doing with Greg? And they heard about the book project and everything. And a lot of them really had some great advice for me. So it was great. I had some marketing people give me some advice. There was a couple of motivational speakers there and they kind of took me aside and gave me some great advice. So, you know, not only was it a good time, it was actually beneficial to me. I learned some great things. And, um, Let's see, what else? Uh, oh, another great thing is a few of the people I met, a few of the regular people, you know, and they, they started hearing about my story, and, and, and it really kind of touched me because a couple of people told me that I actually was inspiring to them. And that really meant a lot because that's the whole idea behind this project. You know, they're like, wow, that's really incredible. This, that, that is so inspiring, and I'm going to follow along. And I gave away a whole bunch of business cards when I was there for people to follow along on this project. So... Again, I guess you had to be there, and I'm going to post some pictures so you can kind of see the, the caliber of things that went on in this beautiful home and these beautiful people. And you know, I met fashion designers and, and authors and, and real estate people and banking people and, and motivational speakers, and, and it was just an incredible mix of people. I tell you, it was, it was so dynamic. And um, it was definitely a beneficial thing, and, and it was kind of kind of a little wild and crazy at the same time. In fact, some people were saying that Greg is the new Gatsby, and it's funny because I happened to watch.
watched the Great Gatsby movie on the plane on the way over. And if you've seen the movie, you know the loud and crazy, lavish parties that, that Gatsby threw. Well, it was it was kind of like that. Not to that extreme, but again, kind of pretty, pretty wild. So uh, that's it. I just wanted to fill you in a little bit on the party. I had a great time. And um, that's about it for now. I'm going to come back when I'm back in the States, kind of give a summary of what went on and, and just move forward. So... Uh, that's it for now, folks. I'm Bill McManus, Making of a Millionaire. Here's to your success. Bye now.